Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paulie. This is John. I meant to say hello. Hello, yeah. everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're trialling out uh, a pilot for a, a podcast. We don't have a name yet. No. But we're going to just record a couple of pilots. If you guys enjoy it, let us know in the comments below. If you don't, then, of course, let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll hopefully create something that you enjoy. <laughs> now, for this first episode, we're going to be talking about something that we both enjoy, <laughs> uh, which is pop culture. And we'll get more into that in a sec, but I thought we'd start with a quick origin story of how we both met. Good point, because, yeah, we, we get into these chats, because we've known each other for about, what, uh, 30, God, I almost say 30 years. Almost 20. Almost 20? No, more than 20, 24 years. 2000, I was pretty sure. There we go. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and we always get into these chats, and we get pretty in-depth. Our points of views change over the years, back and forth. Back with yeah, backwards and forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth, <laughs> um, and yeah. But we were talking about Batman again the other day, and we got into the whole ranking of your your favorite. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, before we get into that origin story of how we met, that was oh yeah, we met at Macca. Sorry, back yeah. Can we start that again? <laughs> no, that's all right. So John's right. We first met at McDonald's, which was located uh, where a surf shop is now at Rendezvous in Scarborough. Um, Ob City Maccas, yeah. Ob City Maccas. And we would have to be the toughest and most uh, durable crew in Western Australia for a couple of reasons. Oh, yeah. It was rough. Yeah. It was... It. The nightclubs, the three nightclubs or whatever it was down there, just, just what, look out. 20 metres away. The Lookout? Yeah. Stanford Arms. Oh, yep. Stanford Arms. And there was one more. Um, no, not Cotatio's. That was across the road. Yeah. That added to it anyway. But uh, so it was extremely, it, you consider it like the Wild West. After closing time, everyone would come and get their food and you would just have a queue out the door of people that are drunk and hungry. <laughs> I mean, which is great in one sense because they're not too worried about food quality. Uh, not in the sense of presentation, like they don't care if the pickle's right in the middle or the onions spread evenly. They just want like something that's fresh, good food, and can help them with their alcohol. So they're, they're not worried if the lettuce, lettuce isn't looking like the uh, the photo on the ad up there. And you didn't really have the time. You had to smash it out. You had to smash it out. But oh, yeah. I, I was fortunate enough to work with John. John, I think, was shift manager at the time then. Um, so... That was great, and we, we did uh, a couple of years there, and then yep. um, we stayed friends afterwards. Yeah, and we've lived we've lived in this. We've, yep, we've that's together we've lived well. together. Um, we've travelled. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you came on that. I, I feel sorry. I dra I dragged them on a four wheel drive trip uh, down south once, and oh. John likes to camp. He loves camping in outdoors. I do. But I understand I that you know there's there's things you can do to make your experience enjoyable, and then there's things that you do to make them not enjoyable. For some reason, I like the ones that aren't enjoyable, completely out of character. John likes the ones which are enjoyable, which is the majority of people. I like understand. bringing the right amount of equipment. Imagine Jurassic Park Lost World with all that equipment they took with them. Yes. That's, that's how I like to roll it in camp. Well, let's just say you camp in style and you camp comfortably, whereas I will take one bag, minimal change of clothes, I'll try and fit all my food into one pack so that I'm... Oh, you, know, you, go, you go full military style. Uh, yeah, I yeah. do. Um, yeah. You'll see me wearing camos. You, you were digging a trench within two seconds. Yeah, oh, just in case it rain. rains so the rain could go and around the tent. Funny yeah. enough, it actually did rain, and the person <laughs> that, that didn't build their site properly, which was Dave, yeah, he built me. it right in the middle of like where the rain... Anyways, we're getting... <laughs> we're sidetracked, sidetracked. But we're, we've known each other for a great deal of time, so time. Um, I think the fact that we, uh, we share a passion for pop culture and movies is great. We can talk about cinema. I don't like going to the movies with you. I'm terrible to go to the movies. Oh, Explain the experience. You real laugh. Quick. You clap out loud. You, you laugh more. Like the worst is the laugh. You, you laugh and clap at something. I can't like, help Okay, talking. I get it. It's funny, but everyone's looking at us now, man. So if you see me watch, away. if you see me watch a basketball game and see how animated I am during a basketball game, unfortunately, that. I have trouble controlling that in the cinema experience, which, <laughs> thank God I haven't been asked to leave. But John puts up with it, so thank you. But moving on to today's topic, we're going to discuss um, possibly one of our favourite uh, movie franchises, which is the DC uh, uh, Batman mm. franchise. And we're, we've been uh, we've fans. We've been fans for a long time. I would have to and say John is, is definitely um, a, a, a passionate um, collector. Um, but also, you know, the fact that we can discuss these topics because you do have a love for it. I, I love that. And uh, today's topic is who are our favourite Batmans? Now, this is, once again, who we think are our favourite Batmans from the whole uh, DC we're Batman not, we're not Well, we're not dipping into the comic books. We're, yeah. we're going movies. Movies. And 
that's just because that's the easiest for us. The comic books, man, you really have to get into them to get into that, to understand each of the different storylines. But and, there are some great comics. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I'll let uh, We'll John do that start. again another day. We'll do that no- again another day. Um, so we'll let John start. John, what is your favourite scene in Batman to start with? All right, we're going to start at the we're going to start at the top. Start at yeah. the very top. Yeah. Well, my mine was, oh, and people are going to hate this, but it, it, no. mine was um, Ben Affleck's in Batman versus Superman. Which scene? Especially the warehouse scene, that warehouse fight scene where he goes after Martha to save, but goes to save Martha. Uh, that was so well choreographed. It was. Brutal. It was um, uh, a bit like you know, used his tech that only he could have. It was um, and and knowing and I've done martial arts for a few years. Nothing, nothing special or anything, but I just loved the even the styles that he went with. It was it captured. It made the movie for me, without a doubt. Cinematography was amazing. Yeah, uh, the director's cut especially. But I have to. Yeah, you have to go the Zack Snyder. What it cut. did to peel back. Uh, the character that Batman is mm. and Bruce Wayne is. Showing is he his, a good guy? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, is, is he a good guy? It really showed his brutality, which was something that I think most Batman movies have lacked. He's more of a knock the guy out, let the cops deal with him later. Instead, this time, no, he finished the job himself. Now, originally, I was going to choose, uh, once again, my, my number one pick is Ben Affleck, Batman. And I was going to choose the Batman versus Superman nightmare cut the Snyder Cut, um, the nightmare scene where you see Joker, uh, there's a couple of other characters there, and um, that then leads into the... The desert. scene where they're looking for The Rock. The, yeah. And he has it delivered via that truck of mercenaries and, and whatnot, and it's a trick. And then and, Superman yeah. comes down, and uh, I just love the way that Ben Affleck captured Batman. It was gritty. Um, he wasn't a he- Like, was he a hero? He, well, he didn't feel like he held... He didn't hold back in his performance, I didn't think, and... Um, no, he was the hero, but... But he, was he? Because a lot of his actions but he was, weren't... It was like a greater good hero, for the greater good almost. Yeah, but, I, I mean, was punishing the criminals the way that he did the right thing to do? Well, I think... How does that separate him we from were 20, a bad guy? We were 20 years into him, into him as Batman. He mentions that to after we've been at this for 20 years. We were never, like, uh, the good guys or whatever. We've always been criminals. Um he, in that particular world of Gotham, he had to be that. Well, we know where that particular movie is based from as well. What storyline in the comic book series? Uh, it's a very dark. It's I think um, it's loosely around Arkham's. Yeah, yeah. Arkham, if you Arkham get to watch the cartoon, the Arkham series. There's, there's a cartoon two-part, three-hour movie of it that's absolutely brilliant. Oh, that oh, the, uh, the, uh, where the Green Arrow is there. Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight Returns with a yep. green arrow and um, him trying to take down Excellent. Superman. Excellent. It's, uh, it's Batman as a 70-year-old man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> has to take steroids to try and get through the fight. That is a re- that's a really good cartoon. Um, all right. Let, let's move anyway, on to number two real number quick. Number two. For me, again, all right, mine, this my one? Yeah. I chose Batman Begins. Now, even though I'm a massive Keating fan, and that's yes. who I grew up with on as Batman, mm-hmm. like you did, Christian Bale, this origin story was really good. We have already knew how he, that his parents were killed, but at least in this one, we got to see how he was trained, like a bit more about the League of Shadows. Yes. And then their influence on the world, and following that is a bit more of a storyline. So I did like Batman Begins. Plus, it was also its own world. It was the later movies is that Nolan did. Is there a scene from there that you like? Oh, um, oh, that is a really tough one. A scene from it that I like. I liked the most of the whole thing. I especially li- I like the way that he acquired his tech and built his and built out, like you know Who, Lucius. Uh, uh, now you, if you pull, you call out names and I can't remember them. Um, he's the voice of God normally. Yeah, usually um, Lucius, um, but I can't remember what his last. The guy name that runs his uh, tech division. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember his last name. Lucius Fox. Lucius Fox. There yeah. we go. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. So I think from number two, mine would have to be uh, Michael Keaton, but uh, Michael Keaton in the latest Flash series. Um, for me, once again, we grew up on, on Michael Keaton, but I just loved how he represented that character. The, there were a lot of scenes where he was obviously, um, you know, out of his depth, and it looked like it was the end for them, but uh, it wasn't. And. Just how I don't think that movie would have been as much as it. I don't think it would have 
translated or gotten any traction if he hadn't been in it. Couldn't agree more with that. Um, yeah. And just, yeah, you got to see the, the progression of how that universe went played out. So that, I thought that was beautiful. He, to see him in that role was amazing. When I saw the trailer for for the Flash movie came, coming out and he stepped in, I, that just made it for me, yeah. hands down. Yeah. Other than that, I wouldn't have gone to see um, the Flash at all. Would have waited for it to come out to a streaming service. Um, but I'm no. not going to say anything negative about that film, but I do feel that they wrote in that first 15 minutes of the movie. It wasn't. Uh, that was an afterthought. Well, I, I guess it had to tie in with um, the uh, prior, other but short scenes they've shown in other at the end of other the movies. Thing. They should, not all movies have to tie in like Marvel. No. Well, DC. They, I don't think they've ever really been able to do it properly. So. You don't have to keep trying. You can just, you know, let let the imagination. But do you have to do it? Let the why, imagination fill in the gaps. Why can't each movie be a standalone? Oh, they can be. Oh, yeah. Um, probably would prefer that. Yeah. I think it would be easier for the writers. Um, plus, they can adapt their characters without worrying what the effect is on these other characters that are supposedly part of their yeah. story. Forget about them. Plus, you've got things Marvel themselves. Let's not forget. Like they go through these perilous times, and there's this one person to, that only one person can do it. They can't have a standalone movie and not have the question asked. Uh, don't you have like so and so on speed dial? Just give them a call and yeah. they'll come down and help you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Or I mean, I'm stuck and just send a drone. I'm sure you've got one already on you somewhere. But anyway, all right. So number three. Number what three. What is your third favorite Batman uh, character? And and I only changed this one this morning. Yeah. Right. Because I remember, I just remembered. Oh yes, they've got a new Batman, and yes. it's the Robert Pattinson one. I didn't mind. I didn't mind it at all. You've I actually, really liked it. You've spoken very highly of this film, and I haven't given it a chance like you have, and I guess I should. But um, why? It is gritty. Like it is as if, like it's very early on, like in his time. Um, it's a, the company's broken. It's or it, the Wayne name's broken. Um, it, I, it's. Uh, like how do I explain it? Gotham City is just a cesspool. It's gone. It's it's just like I say, Gotham oh, City's worse than it, it was before. Oh yeah, like the worst <laughs> it could possibly be. But um, already he has people who are afraid of the shadows. Like they'll see a shadowy area, go, no, I'm not going to run down there after I've just committed a crime. I'm going to go the other way. He's got this, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cult? Uh, no. Oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's, he's got like a not a following, but a you know a, a reputation. Reputation. So yeah, that I liked it. It's very gritty. I liked it that he walked around with the people, and then could he would could quickly just hood up, and you know like Superman he, in a phone. Yeah, race. he just he didn't play. But that's but the level of Gotham at the time, the way people looked and dressed, he could just he could just walk around and no one really noticed anyway. Like you know a guy with eye makeup on and things like that. Now once again, I think. This is funny that uh, I've chosen a choice. Uh, my choice is something that isn't John's favourite as opposed to that last one where mm. uh, Robert Pattinson and the Batman I haven't seen. Uh, for me, it's Christian Bale and the Dark Knight. Um, and I know John John isn't a fan of Christopher Nolan or, uh, or that sorry, particular Chris, series. I'm sorry, I just didn't like the last two that well. But I really love this one. Um, for me, it was a special effects and cinematography uh, showcase you know, there were lots of visuals. I was getting a, a, a rush every five minutes, um, and 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 I'm gonna. Re I have to reiterate. I have to redo this. Then, I like Dark Knight. I don't like Dark Knight Rises. I uh, yeah, just yeah, don't like Dark the, Knight. The, the third one, I think, no. was a bit much. But definitely, um, yeah, Dark Knight. I love that just because of the expansion of the character. See, the first one, I don't think they gave us enough. The second one, that made me feel. Ah, I like this Batman. I, I like this character. I like his portrayal. I like this universe. Um, and I liked all the supporting cast. See, you got to see a lot more supporting cast in that second one as well. Uh, Definitely. You got yeah. the introduction of possibly a Robin. <laughs> um, uh, that's in the third one. Oh, that's in the third one. Yep, oh, on. that's right. Sorry. How you guys? Um, who else was there introduced? There was a couple of other characters introduced. But still, nonetheless, that was... That was it. I won't take up too much time because we're running out of time. But um, no, this if, was a good sample. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is a good. Look, this is the kind of stuff we talk about. So, um, if we could summarise this, what would be say uh, someone that's never seen any Batman movies? What would be the one Batman that you would recommend them to go see, or one clip? Would it be your first clip there? Oh, if you were going to start out watching a Batman, 
oh, go watch the first Keaton one. Like, just start it from the beginning. Watch the yeah. journey of it. That way you can appreciate these newer ones. See, today, kids today, they don't have to wait year after year for a new Marvel movie or a new DC movie. There's tons for them to watch already. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're saturated. Um, Look at Star Wars. We waited 30 years. And these kids have got nine movies to watch. And, but, oh, and more. And all the, and all the series, series and, and, yeah. and other movies like Andor and, all, and whatnot. Um, I think for me, if I was to recommend one. a Batman movie for someone, I, I'd have to agree with you on that, John. The Michael Keaton one is just a great, wholesome you – can, you can watch it with your kids. Um, it, it's suitable for all audiences. I think there's still relevance in it today. Even if you didn't grow up in that era, you'll still be able to – It is actually super – and no one really gets – Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I know they, do, they do, but there's not gorish. It's not. Can I just say, Batman has a charm to him. Then he's a gentleman in that movie. Like he's he's stoic, he's uh, he's charismatic. Like he's, oh, he's aloof and also is, but, not aloof. He's very um, uh, uh, withdrawn from society. They see him every now and then. He holds banquets. No one sees him. Donates. Rah rah rah. Yeah. I, I mean, yes. I, like I liked it, it yeah. yeah. Well, once again, guys, thank you so much. John, thanks for joining us. Thanks for um, me, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Now, we will be doing a second pilot, and uh, let us know how it goes. Comment below. Thank you all for watching. Thanks very much.